Mike is now touching down. So we have an emergency situation. This tornado is now on the ground. It looks like it's a now sizable tornado. If you see anybody outside, tell them to get the sidewalk. watching this come into a metropolitan area. Jesus, help him. It was horrendous. Oh, no. Wow. All I could think about was, is this thing coming for me? This thing is huge. It was utterly terrifying. Go to the campus buildings. You could feel the power of this monster. Go the back. I'm not kidding. It was right on top of us. Personality. It's the scariest moment of my life. severe weather that morning between 3.30 and 9 o'clock, and during that time, five people were killed and a quarter million people had no power. National Weather Service notified me that Tuscaloosa had a 40% plus chance of being hit by a tornado. It's important that we take heed of this, and hopefully Tuscaloosa will come out unscathed, but it doesn't hurt for us to be prepared and ready for what lies ahead in the next few hours. At that point, I decided to go ahead and activate the city's incident command system, which is basically our emergency protocols. I love working in the emergency department because you have the opportunity to take care of people. It was a typical day in the emergency department, typical patients that we get every day. One of the paramedics mentioned that bad weather was coming in. One of the nurses and I walked outside and it was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. The problem we were facing was the fact that the sun popped out and then you had a lot of people. The fact that the sun is out is the worst possible thing because that makes the air more buoyant and unstable. A system of about 64 parameters that you need for a tornado. We had a atmosphere just started changing, the wind picked up, got dark. We knew we had something bad coming. particular day we weren't doing anything special uh we'd actually had a couple of days of thunderstorms and a very good friend of mine josh uh had been shooting he was just playing around with a new video camera that i'd gotten up too long ago and was just trying to catch lightning we have seen some of the stuff on the news about you know potential tornadoes but that's kind of something that we get almost every single day uh, during the summer so it wasn't really something that we really fretted too much about I went to go out to uh, the front yard and I looked towards the front of my house where I saw my friend and he was like look right over there Holy just see movement and velocity we knew that there was something going on around us that wasn't normal uh, for our people in the field if we just showed radar for a lot of people it looks like a bucket of spill paint brown and mike wilhelm two of our better sky watchers I work for the state of Alabama, Department of Human Resources. I've stayed in touch with weather and studied it a lot for probably about 25 years. Oh yeah, look at that thing. I see a little pink cloud I work with Sky Watchers for ABC 3340, and we were quite confident that there was a storm that was making aim on Tuscaloosa. It's rotating for sure. That is lowering. I see a few little fingers there. In that particular day, every storm was isolated and it was uh, maintaining strength and it was rotating. It's starting to come into view. It's coming down to the point. It's right there in front of us. Right in front. We were looking at the storm. And John says, Mike, a lot of people are going to die today and they just don't know it yet. I am a student at the University of Alabama studying journalism. 
for about six years. I've been working at a local TV station in Tuscaloosa. It was while I was in one of my classes that we started getting word that the weather was um, going to be a little rougher than we thought, and so my professor asked if the station needed me, and at that point, I was able to go to the station, and that's when things really started to um, progress. West Alabama is bracing for more stormy weather. And the same system has already been blamed for several deaths and destroying many businesses and homes all across the South. For the latest I'm the news director and anchor at WBUA TV. Being the news person, people are asking you, Lynn, is this going to be as bad as people say it is? And you really don't have any answers. It's really not in your hands. But at the same time, you're having to think about your own personal safety. This potentially could hit the building where we are right now. So again, get in the lowest floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. We had converged in the studio to watch the tower camera, and we saw the tornado come down, take shape, and it became fairly large. Don't take a chance when they're saying this is obviously a very dangerous situation, what we're looking at. But then in just a few moments, we saw it lift back up, and it goes back up into the clouds. And yeah, it looks like it's lifting. You can feel that collective sigh of relief it appears that it's not on the ground at this second but and i said it's going to get angry and come back down even worse and in just a couple minutes it did exactly that uh looks like it's now touching down just to the west of tuscaloosa yeah we're seeing power flashes so we have an emergency situation this tornado is now on the ground it looks like it's a now sizable tornado we're watching live and this is coming right towards tuscaloosa I've lived in Tuscaloosa pretty much my entire life. Um, I was out of school working for my dad at the time. I had one of my friends, uh, Nate Hewitt, with me. Oh my God, look at the fire. The storm was pretty bad, and so we had actually left work a little bit early. Personally driving, I couldn't see the storm that well. However, after the trees move, it becomes apparent that the storm is coming directly at us. sitting on the interstate having no idea where the storm's actually going i didn't really realize the severity of the situation you can see debris in the air that thing is half a mile wide once i actually looked over i didn't realize that we were nearly as close as we were when it was right on top of us we need to we need to go that way go back i'm not kidding 